It's the same every summer. I've always loved that about it. For me, everything good, everything magical happens between the months of June and August. Thank you. I liked you better with glasses. Too bad. I like me better without them. I thought you said smoking pot changes the way your brain processes information. So does your cell phone. Why are you acting so different? I'm not. I know you. I mean, something's going on. Just... Just tell me. Ellie. Ellie, are you sure you want to do this? It doesn't seem very you. It's not. Conrad, could you please be a little more supportive? Why couldn't you let me have this one thing? Huh? Admit it. You knew what you were doing. What? What was I doing? Reminding me that you existed. Your hair's like a little kid's, the way it's always so messy. Let me have a puff. No. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. No. Yes. No. Laurel would actually kill me. Okay, fine. Then if I can't smoke, then you can't smoke. What is that? Infinity. Do you know what that means? Imagine it's a racetrack. You see how there's no starting or ending point? You could travel endlessly around those curves. It goes on forever. Conrad, uh, do you want to give Belly your present? Sorry, I forgot. Uh, that's... that's cool. Is this what it would be like if we were older? Me and Conrad together? I've always liked you with wet hair. It's so romantic. How many of those have you had? Two, five. It's, it's not important. Same old belly. Did you buy me that infinity necklace for my birthday? At least he remembered infinity. I knew it! I knew can I, I please, was right! Can you give me some privacy, please? Doesn't he know, for him, I would have traveled endlessly around those curves? Tell you about the necklace. I did get it for you. Then why didn't you give it to me? I don't know. We grew up together, so I've always thought of her as this little kid. But now, she's not. Belly, you don't really affect you have on people. Affect on people? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. You do. You're the only boy I've ever thought about. My whole life, it's always been you. <laughs> Last night, you and I almost kissed. Did we? I was pretty wasted. I don't really remember much. I always remember everything when I drink. Are you serious? OK, we almost kissed. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry? Are you sorry? I don't know. Really, I think about you. I do, and you know I do. I'm sorry for being a jerk the other day and pretending like I don't remember when I remember everything. I just can't. I'm not waiting for you anymore. Can I take you to the ball? Belly, you are telling him no. Conrad. I need you to sub in. I told him he had to ask you since, you know, it was taking you so long to decide. Congratulations! My mom did ask me to ask you to the ball, but that's not why I did it. I did it because I wanted to. Oh my God. Billy, concentrate. Stop texting me. I'm sorry. I feel like I keep doing the wrong thing when it comes to you. If you stop playing all these games and just let her go, it would have been a great night. I just... You. It's too late. Hey. Yeah. Break a leg. That'd be bad. I'm supposed to be dancing all night. I just, I just mean good luck. It's like a thing, people. Belly, I'm sorry for being so shitty all summer. I mean, you were going through all this 
alone. You, you, I wish you had told me so you didn't have to. I wanted to. I almost did a couple of times. There's so many things I want to say to you. Don't. Not now. Why? Because you really, really, really need somebody right now, and I don't want to be the kind of person who takes advantage of that. I don't. Just need somebody. I need you. I don't want you to need me. I want you to want me. I do want you. This doesn't feel real. I'm a nut. <laughs> Can't stop smiling. You know, you have the prettiest smile I've ever seen. Being with you is all I've ever wanted. Okay, it's great. Be with me then. Everyone in our house knows that I've had a crush on you ever since, like. Wait, 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 wait. You have a crush on me? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. You're it for me, Belly. I don't want to make things harder for you guys than they already are. You're not. I promise. The most important thing right now is that you and Jeremiah are there for each other. I hate that. Yeah, me too. I think I messed up some of those steps. You are great. This was always yours. No matter what happens, we'll still be infinite. The call came the second week of September, three weeks since the last time I'd seen him. It felt like a dream, unreal. Glad that it was me. Calling? I shouldn't have called. This was dumb. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's okay. Uh, I just can't imagine marrying someone who didn't give me fireworks. You know, like like electric jolts every time I saw them. It's probably uh, against the rules to say this, but um, I wish we were looking at it together. Me too. Conrad, <laughs> what are you doing here? I wanted to see you. And Billy? Yes, Conrad? I couldn't be with someone who didn't make me feel electric either. Billy, I don't think I could ever get over you. But whenever I talk to you, I'm just happy. And I gotta say, standing in front of you right now, it's torture. Not being able to kiss you. Hi. Hey. I can't believe you're here. Yeah, me neither. Should we go inside? I don't think we came all this way just to sit in the car. What? Why are you sitting so far? That feels good. Yeah, it's because you're cold-hearted. For everyone else, maybe. Not for you. I hope you know I didn't bring you here just for this. Oh, I know. We don't have to do anything. No, no, no. I want to. I wanted to be with you. Did you get your tux yet? I saw time, right? Problem's not until like the second. Uh, the first. What's wrong? I don't have your corsage. It's okay. Is everything okay? Yeah, I just forgot the day. I didn't know it then, but I was already losing him. Do you want to dance? Uh, we don't have to if you don't want to. Billy, if I stay, I'm just going to ruin the rest of the night for you. I don't want to do that. Did I, did I do something? He broke up with me. I know this is hard with everything going on. Please don't shut me up. I feel like I just keep disappointing you. You have it. Don't hate Conrad. I don't. He's having a really hard time with all this. You don't deserve that. And just stop acting like this and come back inside. <laughs> I can't. Please. 
please don't let him push you away. He needs you. That we're over? I mean, we are, aren't we? Fell. Don't, don't, don't say anything. I made a promise to myself at that moment. I would not leave his side for the rest of the day. He would need me. Bella, don't leave it like this. <laughs> you, you were the one leaving like this. No, no. What do you mean the house is for sale? What is she doing here? When you swim, I don't think you'd notice if the house was on fire. You're so into what you're doing. It's like you're someplace else. That's what I like about it. He thought something really bad happened to you. We both did. So how's Jer? You know, I think he's okay. I told him we're not giving up. Good. Because we're not. Who are you? She's my girlfriend, and she's... Um, and she's right. The house is not for sale. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you my girlfriend. Don't worry about it. It's cool. There's a whole other couch right there. Thank you, Billy. The first time I ever had my heart broken was at this boardwalk. It was everything I'd been waiting for. I thought he'd asked because he wanted to hang out with me, but he'd come to the boardwalk to see her. You used to cry every time you looked at the Tower of Terror. I did. Yeah. I'm very excited to see it happen again. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're on then. Mm -hmm. Angie said this is the best prize they have. I thought you might like it. I'd rather have had the giraffe, but thanks. You know what? I'll take the giraffe. Thank you. <laughs> he made it so hard not to love him. When he was sweet like this, I remembered why I did. How come you didn't want another junior man? I'm not 13 years old anymore, Conrad. No, it's not over. I mean, we're going to figure something out. <laughs> this is... 100% your look, Connie, baby. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> Where's mine? You always say they're too sugary. Yeah, well, I'm thirsty, so too bad. Hmm. That's too sugary. <laughs> I had to apologize for that day. Santa's funeral. It's just not how I wanted the day to go at all. I wanted to be there for you. I saw Aubrey and... Ellie? It's not like I had any right. Of course you did. Ellie, wait. What do you want? Let go of me. I was having a panic attack. I just crumbled. I felt like I couldn't breathe. Aubrey was just the one who found me. I should have known you'd be like this. What do you mean? I knew it was a bad idea starting something with you. I really wish it was you. You fucking begged me for my blessing to be with her. Is that true? Jerry, that was between us. Yeah, it's fucking true. Belly, come back inside! I'm not dragging your dead body out of the ocean if you drown out there! Leave me alone! I can't! Why didn't you tell me you went to Jeremiah about us? If I had known that you'd done that, that you cared that much about me and about us, if I'd known that I would have fought for you, I mean, at prom and at the funeral, I mean, I... I hate you. Good. I never want to see you again. Stop. I would have been there for you through everything. I, I thought you been... knew. I thought you knew. From the moment we kissed Why? on the beach, I thought you Why? knew. Why? Why did you throw it all away? I never should have ended things like that. And the fucked up thing is I thought I was doing the right thing by you. You were going through a lot. But that is no excuse. There is nothing left between me and Conrad. There will always be something between you and Conrad. I thought that we loved each other. We did. I guess not enough. And I hate the thought of you looking back on the night that we spent here together and regretting what we did. I don't regret any of the times we were together. Conrad. There's only you. There's only ever been you. I loved you, and I know you loved me too. If I could go back, if I could do things differently, I would. I need to tell you something. 
I, uh, I've been having feelings. Conrad, it's okay. I mean, we both hurt each other a lot. And I don't ever want to hurt you again. I don't want to hurt you again either. Friends. <laughs> you gonna tell her? I mean, I want to. I just don't know if I should. This will be the last thing I do for Conrad Fisher. Get him to Stanford. Once he's there, maybe we can finally let each other go. You go. No, no, no. I like chili. Just need like. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> I'm really sorry you saw that. It was so messed up. So you want to be with Jeremiah now? Connor. Or are you just doing this to get my attention? This is not about you. But what happens if, you now, when Conrad finally admits how he feels about you? It won't change anything. I want to believe it'll be different this time. He's the one that wants you. I don't. Not anymore. You and Connor need to have a real conversation. You still love her, Con. Yeah. I do. I didn't mean it. What I said earlier, I didn't mean it. And you need to tell her. Why? She chose you. Doesn't feel like it. I still want you. Of course I do. Conrad. You don't have to say anything. Not right now. I just wanted you to know that. I guess I was just trying to screw that up. Um, but I don't want to get between you guys anymore, so I just want you to know that whatever I said, I didn't mean it. We're cool. We're friends. I can't even be mad at him, because this is who he is. This is who he's always been. Look after him. He gives, and then he takes away. So I release you, Conrad Fisher. I evict you from my heart. Make sure she gets back safe, okay? Bye.